Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rojai. Today we are going to learn about the topic of important elements of establishing financial control, explaining about balance sheet, income statement, and ratio, and different non-financial control system. Please listen to following PowerPoint presentation, and I would return at the end of that to discuss key points of the topic. Thank you. Chapter 8. Controlling Management functions is divided into Planning Decision-making Organizing Leading Controlling This chapter covers about controlling Chapter Objectives Describe some of the important elements for establishing financial controls Explain balance sheets, income statements, ratios. Explain different non-financial control systems. Controlling is defined as, compelling events to conform to plans. Control, closed loop versus open loop. Closed loop. Automatic or cybernetic. Monitors or manages process by internal, self-regulating system. Essential feature is strong feedback system. Example, home thermostat system. Following is the flowchart for closed loop control system. It starts with, establishing standards. Measure actual performance. Compare performance with standards. And corrective actions, which are considered as feedback for establishing standards. This is like a continuous process for improvement. Open loop Requires external monitoring or agent to activate control. Example, cruise control on an automobile. Following are the characteristics of effective control systems. Effective Efficient Timely Flexible Understandable Tailored Highlight deviations And lead to corrective actions There are three types of control systems Financial Human resource and social financial three major statements balance sheet shows the firm's financial position at a particular instant in time assets and liabilities income statement shows financial performance of a firm over a period of time cash flow Shows where cash comes from and what it is used for. Definitions of Asset Liability Equity Current ratio And debt to equity ratio Balance sheet Quickly get handle on financial strength of company includes assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Assets anything business owns that has monetary value. Liabilities, claims of creditors against the assets of the business. Profit and loss statement are called income statement. Most used business report. Snapshot of money as it flows through business over specific period of time. Basic formula, revenues minus expenses equals income or profit. Ratio analysis. Ratios of two financial numbers, taken from financial statements and compared to industry averages. There are four types of ratio types. Liquidity. Measures ability to meet short-term obligations. Leverage, measures the level of debt in a firm's financial structure. 
activity, measures how effectively a firm uses its resources. Profitability, measures profit producing performance of firm. Liquidity ratio. Current ratio is formula referred to. Current assets or current liabilities. Numbers from balance sheet. Acid test ratio. Profitability ratio. Net income or net sales. From profit and loss statement. Budgets. Financial budgets, identify sources of cash and intended uses, like. Cash budgets. Capital expenditure budgets. Balance sheet budget. Terms. Income statement shows financial performance of a firm over period of time. Also called a profit and loss statement. Cash flow shows where funds come from and what they are used for. Balance sheet shows firm's financial position at a particular instant in time. Assets are what the company owns. Liabilities are what the company owes. Ratio analysis is financial ratio of two financial numbers taken from the balance sheet and or the income statement. Budgets are the plans for the future allocation and use of resources over a fixed period of time. Following are the responsibility centers. Cost centers. Manager's primary concern is control of costs. Revenue center. Manager's primary concern is attaining revenue target. Profit center. Manager has more freedom to manipulate costs to increase profit. Budget preparation. Top management. Estimates of future sales and production. Priorities used to meet new objectives. Middle management. Prepares proposed revenue and expense budgets designed to attain estimated sales or production levels. Audits of financial data. Verify accuracy of firm's financial data. May be internal or external. Internal audits also evaluate organizational efficiency. Non-financial controls. Management audits. Evaluate efficiency. Human resources accounting. Quantifies the value of human resources investment, like. Costs of recruiting. Costs of training. Costs of process improvement. Social controls. Standards. Comparison with outcomes. Corrective action. Effectiveness of research activities. Systems for release of drawing release. Inventory control. Quality control. In this chapter, we have discussed how companies are financially run. Vast majority of companies are failing because they do not run in a cost-effective way. We have seen in, it on the news that big corporations like Enron has failed mainly because of fraud and mismanagement of finances. This term is called cooking the book by accountant. It is very important for top management of organization to have an honest accounting system in place. Thank you.